hey guys it's phase one with another video today we're going to look at starfield's base building aspect of the game that they showcased in the most recent gameplay reveal all right if you're new to this channel would like to see more starfield content make sure to like and subscribe this video a big thank you to all my channel members and patreon and without any further ado let's get right into it all right, so one of the big pieces of Starfield is base building. This is one of the uh, features that I'm very, very excited about. And um, it, it looks quite interesting with a little bit, a uh, uh, little snippet that we received with this gameplay um, reveal here. So initially right here, you can see that um, he they selected uh, Vectora. It looks, this looks like it's a planet. It's a moon and um it's cold temperatures there you can see the gravity details and uh he's fully surveyed it so there's no fauna there's no flora on this planet so this looks like but there's a lot of resources on this planet so which is something you're going to need to consider when you're building a base right are you going to have the resources you need what are you building the base for right so if me me in particularly i'm going to want to be doing resource extraction and and trading and those kind of things right so i'm going to want to build a base um, on a planet that has a lot of resources so this one would be perfect okay so um so what i did see right here so when you want to build a base based on what i'm seeing here when you want to build a base you're going to need to drop one second so this right here, this item right here looks like it's the outpost beacon. Okay, so when you want to build a base in, in any spot, you need to drop the outpost beacon. So I think that will is what enables you to go into build mode um, for your base. Okay. And what I do find interesting is once you put that, you have details on cargo, crew, and power so there's going to be power management there's going to be crew management and there's going to be inventory management on bases which is pretty cool okay so once you drop it you go straight into build mode just looking at the ui here so it looks like there is a build limit so um maybe you need to level up in order to get to build bigger bases is that how it's going to work i'm curious to see what that is okay okay so this is how the ui looks like when you're building a base right so in order to build a base there's going to be some requirements you're going to need actual resources to actually build right and there's going to be an operating co cost of power so um if you're building you're going to need to think about uh solo power maybe maybe wind wind power um possibly Right, so you're gonna need to put wind turbines and, and things of that nature okay so just looking at some of the structures that they put down so this looks like maybe this entrance right here right so this is your beacon as i said before and this looks like this is your entrance right here and these are some rooms that you're connecting together right so once you drop them i'm sure you can go inside and actually put in the facilities that you want within them okay so just looking at some of the structures they have here. So outpost airlock, they have some walls, hydroponics. Um, okay, so there's different hydroponics. It says one of two, one of two. Okay, science hab small. So it looks like there's gonna be, there's probably gonna be a large one. There's probably gonna be a medium one. So I, I'm thinking, my guess is as you're leveling up as a character, you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna start gaining access to more um types of uh modules for your base right so i'm assuming like in most games um as you go out and you meet uh different factions and you level up with those factions you'll get access to maybe their style of um science habs or hydroponics and um I'm, i think um it's similar it's gonna be i think it's gonna be similar to the way x x3 uh, the x series the base building mechanic where you can get access to the different factions uh style of you know uh facilities so um, that's my guess but we'll have to see as the, we get closer to um, as we get more information on the game small hex hab 
hallway industrial so there's different types of industrial so based on how you want your um your base to look like you can have different kinds of hallways different kinds of facilities that the military have habitation hmm so can you buy can you like actually have you know hire uh, soldier npcs to actually secure your base would you need to have to defend your base would you need to like set up turrets and stuff like that that's something i'm curious about and a watchtower so if the fact if there's a watchtower you may need to defend your base that's interesting okay that's very interesting so as you as you can see thus far it says the power is 30 and then production right so you know bases you're gonna need to, you're gonna probably want to produce things maybe resources refining resources or you know processing maybe um producing maybe a more advanced resources and things of that nature you know that's my guess but i'm curious to find out more what kind of things can we produce at our bases you know from from some of the information that i've seen it seems like there's going to be more um there's going to be uh trading in the game i'm, I'm getting a uh, a feel that i think there will be some trading in the game so i'm curious to see um what i'll be what i'll be interested in doing is actually producing things at my base and then shipping it off with my cargo ship um to actually do some trading with that so let's see also like each part you can connect items to like almost anywhere hold on you can connect it like every corner you can connect so it's 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 allowing so much customization like each aspect of this could be connected so you could actually build the base the way you actually want it to look like okay so what is this this radar so it looks like a radar device you may need for communication what would you be communicating with i'm curious i'm curious about that so this looks like wind power right so if you want to generate power um at your base you're going to need um some sort of you know either wind or uh, wind turbines or um maybe solar power I think more what's more what's going to be more sustainable is probably um wind because wind you know there's always going to be wind throughout whether there is sunlight or there's no sunlight okay okay look at this this is this is a more built out base here so there's different facilities here so this is, seems like this is the main base we have a watchtower what is that? It's like a drilling device, maybe for resource extraction. And then you have some cargo spots right here. So does this mean like if you put these these items down here, it it, it expands your cargo uh, capacity? I'm really curious what to see. Like this looks like fuel. These things right here. This is interesting okay it's very interesting and look at the interior okay this is it yeah there we go so the interior so there's gonna be like different stations you can set up so this looks this looks like a science station right here very interesting man look how beautiful the game is look at the exterior it's gorgeous look at this okay so that's that's the radar you can have a little robot so it looks like there is more robots that you can have or own as a character this is really cool all right that seems to be it if you like to see more starfield content make sure to like and subscribe i will see you on the next one.